Hey, how you doing? I've uh, got a little job for me today, if you want to watch along. Uh, this is a snowblower. It's an old one, it's about uh, got to be about 10 years old. And uh, a little shout out to you, Dizzy, because I was watching his channel and he's got this wicked snowblower that was blowing snow. Oh man, it looked like about 20 feet in, in the air. And uh, what I was really amazed about you, Dizzy, snowblower is when he went in reverse, it moved backwards quite quickly. Mine is like really, really slow. It's almost faster to drag it back by hand than it is to uh, uh, go into the reverse gear, even though I have two of them. So you, Dizzy, mentioned that, hey, buddy, check out your uh, little drive wheel, little friction wheel that goes against this surface that you see right here and, um, and has an axle that runs through, go on, goes onto this gear that I'll show you in a minute. But anyways, yeah, I said, yeah, I'll take that apart. And there it was. It's, uh, it's all worn down, as you can see. And I've got a brand new one. Literally cost me 10 bucks, and it was delivered to my door. And for 10 bucks, I'm going to get this puppy going. The other thing I noticed when I took this apart is a couple of these axle bushings were also worn very, very oblonged, as you can tell. And that's what runs on this... Uh, axle here your wheels go on fits in size got a little hex and i got two brand new axle bushings here as well so i'm going to put those in won't take long at all so anyways yeah i'm going to take you over the bench show you how to put this little thing on and just a quick shout out to uh you dizzy thanks buddy for leading me on to how i might be able to fix this thing and it should be able to push through the snow without the wheels they, they used to stop turning all the time not just the slow and reverse but every time I try to push into the snow they might stop they it might go and it's all about this wheel was just slipping on top of that friction disc and I want to clean that up as as well with some brake clean and whatnot all right let's clean this up take it apart and on the way to the bench to put this puppy on, I want to do a shout out as well to Spongy33. Spongy33 actually got me on to uh, U Dizzy's channel on YouTube, and uh, they're buddies or co subscribers, one should say. And uh, I actually saw Spongy33 on a live show with U uh, Dizzy, which was pretty slick how folks do that on, on YouTube. I might figure that out someday. And, my pal Chris uh, from Amazing Films NS can help me out with that. Maybe we'll do something together. Anyways, let's uh, get this apart. So let me show you this quickly without totally boring the snot out of you in every little detail. But uh, on top of this little drive wheel with the friction disc that we're replacing, there's this uh, bearing that slides on and has a lock clip. And the idea of this, you'll see the hole later on once I mount it, is when you move the shift lever for speeds, it actually will move this back and forth on that shaft. Uh, it allows this to spin. See, because it's got a bearing inside, so this will stay stationary while this spins. So take, you have to take that off because around the outside, you'll find three of these machine screws going through one way and then three going the other way so you can't get the three off the back. I suppose you could if you used a wrench you might have enough clearance but it's easier just to remove that. I've gone ahead and pulled out all the screws both sides and it made it easier if I just stick it in the the vise here and then a little bit of wiggling one side comes off and all you need to do is replace this. This is the part that I had for ten dollars and uh, you don't have to replace this whole assembly. So there's the here's the old one. You can see that it's quite worn worn down. Here's the new one. Just like a brand new tire it's even got that little little casting fur on there. So new one, old one. There's a bit of uh, distance in the diameter as well but this one should really stick and after 10 years these wear down also it's very very it's very hard that the, so it's not going to bite into that or, or have a great, great friction on that aluminum wheel so that's the new one this just goes on here sits in there like that the new plate will go on just got to line up with the holes you don't want to line up the two threaded holes so I have to line up so that I've got a passage hole 
to a threaded hole, just like that. And it just sits on. And let's turn this, make sure it's perfectly centered. It looks great. And then we'll put, I would suggest putting all six screws in first by hand. And if not, you might in a situation where you've tightened these up and the last one you try to make it go through and it won't line up because it might be off a little bit. So I put those in. Get it here for a second. Put the other two remaining on the back side. And if it all looks good, then you can take your ratchet. Alrighty then, so that's back together. I just slid that little collar back on with that bearing and I mentioned the snap ring. I'm going to put that back on. Snap ring pliers. Piece of cake. Pliers, snap ring, back into place so it can't come off. The other thing I had to do with this as well, and I can show you here a little close up, is when I got this apart, I'm going to back up a little bit too, um, so you can kind of get it in perspective. That's the rusty old chute here. You can see a bubblegum welded, probably from some previous years fixing. Here's the two tires I had to take off. They come off with a couple of little clips there, little pins, and uh, I think there was only like four, six screws holding this pan on the bottom. And once this comes off, then you get complete access to the, the belts, a couple dry belts here. Uh, each one's a little different. Uh, when these cables get pulled here, that's the one that actually pulls the disc into that drive wheel. The other one actually that engages the auger, pulls the, there's a pulley in there that's pushing on the belts as you can see, and makes this spin around. This one's attached to the engine, and so this one's always spinning once, uh, well, once you pull the, uh, pull the cable to, uh, to engage this, this one's always spinning and it hits against that wheel, drive wheel, and that's it. I'm gonna show you a picture I'll insert here. Uh, when I did take this pan off, this thing was filled with leaves, and I think some squirrel or something made a nest. The only way he would have gotten in, he or she, is through this hole right here. This, this is going to have a, um, a bearing in here, you'll see in a moment. Uh, this is the axle bushing bearing goes in here. And this hole, there's nothing, nothing goes in this hole. Same in, I think on the other side I've got one as well. But this little small hole must have been, must have been where, uh, where Mr. Squirrel was coming in there. It just looks like if there's two holes in case it was a different setup or whatever. Anyways, I'll insert that picture somewhere so you can see all that stuff that I had to sweep up. All right, let's let's put this back together. Looking good so far. <laughs> Peeking in here once in a while. Um, there's not a lot to these things. So what I'm going to show you is pretty, you know, pretty simple. Uh, once you take it apart and see all the pieces in here, here's uh, the shaft hex shaft that this is going to slide on. It's got a little uh, pin at the end, a little roll pin to keep it from coming off the end. And that just slides on like that. Okay, so that's that part. And it's held in here by two bearings. These are the bearings. I checked them out. They've, they're smooth. You can buy these as well. These are rolling nicely. They're going to go on either end. And uh, yeah, but before I do that, clean that up with a little bit of brake plane to get that old rubber off. Okay. So you can see that this gear actually meshes with the gear on this side. See it there? Hold it over, you can see it. These two are going to mesh, mesh together. There we go. This little pin go back in here. That's what's going to move this wheel on the shaft. Put your bearing on. There we go. 
that bearing's held on with this little bolt and washer. Put one on the other side. Bearing. Tightens up with the bolt and washer. Look at that. It's in there. It can spin. Now the only thing I have to do is take off these old oblong bushings and put these new ones in. So I might take a little bit of sandpaper just to sand up this shaft, make sure where this runs is nice and smooth. I'll also put some grease on here so that it doesn't wear. And you're probably wondering, well, why doesn't Kevin wear gloves and I do have lots of nitro gloves but as I tell my buddy Chris from Amazing Films NS is sometimes I make like make look like I do stuff so it's good to have a little bit of dirt in your fingers once in a while you know yeah and what the old buddy Red Green used to say if women can't find you handsome at least they can find you handy That's way better. This other one was, look, see the difference? This axle was all loose. That is nice, solid. Makes you happy when you fix things. You fix it by yourself and save a lot of money and bought some parts for about 20 bucks. 20 bucks Canadian. You dizzy, what's that, like uh, 15 down in down in Boston, 15 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. You can get like, in the US, you guys can get like a case of beer for six bucks, which is crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the other side. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, just the same as this side, and then we're gonna stick the wheels on. And if you folks are out there, uh, you can subscribe to my channel, put some stuff on there, different things, fix stuff, but if you wanna uh, do see some reviews and, and watching me and my buddies Chris and George do some fixing as well head on over to his channel and I'll put it in the link below it's amazing films NS and you'll see some real good reviews there and we fix old cars and stuff like that as well so check that on out so I'm gonna finish this up and uh, move on to putting the wheels back on and go outside maybe see if it works it should work just fine thanks now I'll put that cover back on and once that's done, then I'll go outside and see if it'll push some snow around and do that. So uh, before I let you go, make sure you uh, like, I guess, this video. If you like it, if you don't, like it anyways. And uh, if you don't like it, make a comment, that's cool too. And be sure to check out uh, Spongy33's channel, Anna M's channel, um, you Dizzy's channel, hmm, who else? Also uh, Chris over at uh, amazing films NS and I collaborate on some of his stuff too so you'll see me on over there. Alright, let's get together and uh, see you next time. <laughs>